congrats. Thank you. It's huge. I know yeah. that I mean, you're going to always be a part of the team. So yeah, I'm yeah. Sure. I mean, people have been congratulating me, and I'm like, thank you. You're welcome. You're like, um, I did a lot. It's totally, totally <laughs> all, all up to me. I, I managed the whole thing. <laughs> no, the women are amazing. It's been, it's been a lot of fun, and watching them celebrate as they should um, brings back some good memories. Yeah, and, and a lot of blowback on the celebration, not only during the World Cup, but after they've won the whole thing. Um, what kind of blowback? <laughs> of course, it's a double epitome. standard. Of yeah. course, it's a double standard. And you know, it, and what these women do, they're trying to redefine what it means to be a woman, right? Because so many women believe, and maybe you even believe it, on, maybe I believe it on a deep level, they're like, oh, we're just supposed to be polite and yeah. say thank you so much. We're, we're so grateful to be here. And like, you know what? That was so four years ago. Um, I was a part of that team four years ago. The world wasn't ready for a team like, like, like Megan Rapino and Alex Morgan are leading today. They're saying, you know what? We're going to do this our way. We're going to be unapologetic. We're going to be confident, and we're going to celebrate our asses off. Because guess what? That is what we want to do, and we're allowed to do that because there's strong, powerful women who deserve it. And when one woman does it, then it gives permission for the next woman to do it. Uh, so all those people out there who think that their celebrations were tactless, um, whatever. Um, for all those people out there who think that they should be more of anything other than what they're being, whatever. Um, they're just, they're missing out on one of the most successful and glorious teams that you've ever seen. Uh, and, and I just want to celebrate with them. And fun. Yeah. Right? Doesn't it look fun? It I'm actually kind of jealous that, very I, fun. that I'm not even a part of it, right? Um, and I, I know the women and I text them and I'm congratulating them, but they're just having the time of their lives, as they should. You know, they just work their rear ends off for the entire month. And, and uh, under the, the most kind of intense pressure you can imagine, with the president of our country um, tweeting at some of our players and all the- Wrong the, handle, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> all the media and all the things, like with the lawsuit, like there was so much that these women were fighting for and they came out on top. Talk about the most epic talk the talk and walk the walkers in Megan Rapino. Um, I'm I'm lucky to know her. I'm lucky to have played with her, and um, I guess she's going to be what president 2020. <laughs> Four years ago, was she just as vocal, just as who she is now? But the the moment that we were at in society really didn't wasn't necessary for her to be who she is in this in this moment. So it's not about necessary. It was what our our collective consciousness was capable of handling. Uh, four years ago, our world wasn't ready for somebody to be as vocal and 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 unapologetic as Megan Rapinoe is. They are now, and um, the way that she's gone about it, and the way that she's navigated this whole thing, has been nearly perfect in my mind. The team and Megan have fought for something that is um, bigger than just soccer, right? Because a win for this women's team was is a win for women everywhere, and. That's something that um, that every four years when the lights are shining so bright, hopefully that will allow this moment to transcend over the next four years so that there's not so much of a lull. I think that there are a lot of people who think that this lawsuit is all about money. Mm. Can you share more about what success looks like yeah. for women and, and more than just Compensation. Well, yeah. So, I mean, money matters, right? It allows sure. allows these women to to play their sport singularly, where they not don't have to have another job. They don't have to worry about what their in the next paycheck is coming. They can just do their thing, their one thing. Um, so, money does matter, but resources and more importantly, investment. People don't understand how important investment is into the women's game, right? So, 1994. The MLS got a massive amount of investment from owners, the owners of the MLS, and they lost hundreds of millions of dollars because they were they were investing in this thing that they could they could see this growth. Well, the women's game, not just soccer, but every women's sport, has never gotten the same kind of investment sure. of marketing and dollars and sponsorships and 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 that kind of investment really will make such a big difference. Um, and so w w when you get into the weeds of it, because I, I have been in the weeds of it, 
it's undeniable how much more potential for growth this women's games and these women's teams have than the men's than men's sports right this is not men versus women's sports this is like women doing amazing things inspiring other kids girls and boys to be the best themselves that they can be um, I get fired up about it and it's exciting to see what can happen and and, and hopefully people you know, find themselves at women's sporting events and find themselves... How do you think we get there? I mean, how do we get to the point where we're all fascinated and captivated in the Women's World Cup? Mm -hmm. I saw mostly men in bars yep. watching the Women's World yep. Cup game. How do we get people to be as excited all year long, consider how many other options there are, too? Well, you got you to gotta understand that, um, you know, only 4% of sports media is dedicated to women. 4%. So people like you have to put women in the news, have to put women, whether you like it or not, whether you think it's going to get the most clicks or not, that in, that's an investment, that's a resource, that's something that people can learn from. Um, obviously you gotta, you gotta go watch, even if you don't have a professional team, go to semi-pro teams, get your kids involved in sports, um, sit down, find the women's sports, you know, if people are looking for women's sports, TV will make sure that women's sports are on TV and not the most obscure hours or weird <laughs> channels that you can find them. Um, and the more that we all collectively commit to it, um, the more the sports will, will, will get the investments and, and, and the turnover. And, and look, it's not an easy solve. It's, a, it's confusing and it's difficult, but we've got to figure it out one way or another.